So one of the questions that I get asked from time to time is some sort of variation on should I work for free? And my answer is kind of yes, but. So what do I mean by that? Well, if a company that should have a big budget for creative, for whatever it is that you do, comes to you and asks you to do the thing that you do for nothing. So if Microsoft comes to someone like me and says, we need some videos producing, it'll be great exposure for you. Stay away from that shit, that is toxic. That is toxic to the industry, that is toxic to you. But there are different variations on should I work for free. The first one is the kind of lowest bar. You need to be shooting your own work constantly. You need to be making stuff all the time. That'll help you get better. That'll be stuff for your portfolio. So when you're making a website, you have stuff to use. And yeah, you're not getting paid for that. In fact, you're probably spending a lot of money depending on what you shoot to do that. If you shoot landscapes, just the cost of getting there. If you shoot food, the cost of buying, making it, that kind of thing. Big time involved in stuff like that. If it's products, you're not just gonna grab stuff from around your house. I mean, maybe if your house is beautifully decorated with all the nicest new things, then maybe. But it's gonna cost you money, whichever kind of photography you do. If you want models, you've gotta pay models. If you want other things, Money, it's gonna cost money. The next level is this kind of starting out level. You're just getting into people paying you. And so, how do you get more people to pay you? Well, I'm gonna tell this one in the form of a story. So a while back I took this picture of a cake made by some people that I met at a market. They're called Nicely Kitchen. They use this picture on their website and their social media, which led to some exposure, which got me to some jobs, which led to some long-term clients. It also led to me making friends. No one got paid for this shot, but it was on my terms and that is so important. Working for free works for you as long as it's on your own terms. So if I hadn't have gone out of my own pocket to take this picture, fifth of the work that I do, that just wouldn't exist. And I know we need to get paid, but there's times and there's situations where you find something interesting, you find something you really want to shoot, it's in the same vein as the stuff that you want to go on and shoot for money. And maybe the person doesn't have a budget for it. Maybe they're just a friend of yours. The thing that you need to keep in mind when you're thinking about working for free is who's in control. Now in some scenarios, you're not gonna have any control and they're the ones that I would be very wary of. There's other scenarios where you have all the control, but often that means that you're spending all the money. For example, I spent a whole two days on two dishes the other week. So that's creating them, actually making them, finding the props for them. You know, you've got to buy the ingredients, you've got to do the setup, you've got to actually take the pictures and then edit them. They were just for my own portfolio. That is complete control. I don't have to answer to anyone if they don't go right. I don't have to tailor them to suit anyone else. I get to share them where I want, they're mine. That's very, very different from a company approaching you and telling you that you're not gonna get paid any money, but there might be exposure in it. And back to that thing about exposure, you're gonna get less exposure working completely by yourself, just taking pictures of the things you like, than you are if you go and find someone who, you know, is in a similar situation. So that picture that I mentioned before, I took that for people who are now my very good friends. If you can find people who you enjoy working with, who need photography, if you can find people in the same situation as you are, who want to grow alongside you, and who are willing to split the cost on these things. Because especially in food photography, there is cost involved. The more people you have working together, the larger the potential audience is. And again, it comes back to control. There's a couple of other levels. So once you've started working, and people are paying you, and you're earning your main wage or a side hustle from photography, <clears throat> should you still do anything for free? Of course you should. There's gonna be times when you find something really interesting, something you really want to be part of, but there's absolutely no budget. And that's where you've gotta decide where the control is. And the other one, the final one that I'm gonna talk about is res, repetition, rep, 
reciprocity. Getting something back. And this is just where you're not working for free, you're working for trade. So you're either getting a product that you really want or that is valuable to you or you're getting a service. I worked a while ago with my friend Joyce from Artsy Nibs. I approached her because I had an idea and I wanted some calligraphy for it and we did a trade. She did some calligraphy for me. I did a, a short video for her. Great way to work because no money has to change hands, the taxman doesn't get involved. And again, back to this idea of control, you're both setting out with a specific intention. If at some point control goes away from you and you feel like you're being abused, <laughs> that feels like too hard a word. If you feel like someone's taking advantage of you, then you have to really step up and say, this isn't right let's change how this is done. And sometimes that can be hard, especially if you're halfway through a project. So in summary, should you work for free? I'm not gonna be very helpful here. Yes and no, <laughs> that's all I can say. It's gotta be done on a case by case basis. And the question you have to ask yourself is, do I have control? Do I need control? And how does this benefit me? So you're just looking at whether you're getting taken advantage of. And if you're not, and you're happy to work for a bigger company who says they don't have a budget, really, really think hard about that one and just keep asking for money. If you've asked yourself those questions and you're happy with the answers, then yeah, work for free. If not, really don't, because it doesn't just harm you, it harms the whole industry. And on that downer, I'm gonna kill.